Hey guys, I just wanted to share a quick tutorial with you on uh, setting up a file out of Adobe Illustrator uh, to use with your Silhouette, Silhouette Studio software. So what you see right now is a vectorized uh, artwork that I've worked on uh, for The Walking Dead. Uh, and I'm just going to go into outline mode here so you can see all, all the different uh, parts here. So this one's all set up and ready to go. I uh, just wanted to show you guys how to save this out. So all you want to do from here, pretty simple stuff here. Uh, so I'm going to go out of that, go to File, and go to Export. Okay, once you go to Export, click on that. And then you want to go ahead and select from the format down below, right over here, and scroll down to the AutoCAD Interchange file, the DXF. Once you have that, go ahead and click on that. And then what it's going to do is it gonna, it's going to save it in a format that's going to be readable with uh, Silhouette Studio. So I'm going to hit export here. I already saved this file once before. I'm just going to replace it. So don't worry about that. Uh, scale. Now here's, this is interesting stuff because uh, the units that it's uh, we're marking here to it's going to convert uh, everything over uh, for a one-to-one -one scale so if you leave this alone you should be perfectly fine uh, if not I'll show you how to uh, fix that once you're in Silhouette Studio so just go ahead over here hit OK and there you go your file is saved now you're gonna go over to Silhouette Studio I did already open the file here, so I'm just going to close out of this one. And open a new file. So, all we're going to do is I'm going to head over to my desktop. And... Where's my files? There they are. Today and The Walking Dead. I just saved that right now. And let's see. Let's go ahead and hit OK. And now it's going to load the DXF as you can see right now. So all the DXF is from Adobe Illustrator is just showing where the knife and blade, everything needs to go. And it doesn't. Um, doesn't really change anything you did. Now the only thing that might be different here is the fact that it might not be the same scale. Sorry, I'm just closing out a couple windows here. So if you go ahead and highlight everything and use your command or control G function, uh, you can go ahead and group everything together to get your full size here. So right here I have four and a quarter inches by six, almost seven inches wide. And just by holding on, uh, hovering over the corner here, I can go ahead and scale up or down uh, depending on the availability of the size of the Silhouette Studio uh, type of plotter I'm working with or position. Uh, you just drag it to where you like and that's really it. After this point you just go ahead and send it off to your cutter and you're ready to go. Now right now I don't have my cutter plugged in but that's pretty much all you have to do. So if you have any questions about this please feel free to leave them in the comment section. And I'll be happy to update and let you know if there's anything new with the DXF. But for now, this is how it works. I uh, hope that was useful, and I look forward to working with you guys soon. Thanks.